Hello, hello, fellow iguanas. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Claire. My name is Megan, and we are the, the two, two bald, bald iguanas. iguanas. Today we are doing a haul of all of our diving, free diving, and snorkel gear. If you want to see more of our ocean adventures, hit that subscribe button and join the iguana family. And comment down below if you have any gear that we have, or if you have any questions for us about um, buying gear for yourself. Okay, so I have the Aqua Long and they're called Eco Zip. Um, I have a seven and they're really nice. They're red inside, so if you're looking for some, mine are red. Um, they have a zipper on the side, which I really like, and then they have a little Velcro thing to like help keep the zipper up. I really like the zipper. A lot of people say, oh no, the zipper's not that good, but I, I love it. It works perfect, so. Yeah, and I went for the no zipper because mainly because they didn't have my size. I have a very large foot, I'm a 10. Um, and these are also Aqualung, but they're like a sock style and they're purple on the inside. Um, I think they're for their women's brand. The thing about these is they're really hard to put on, but once you put, on, put them on, you're very warm. And then when you try to get them off, they're very hard to get off. <laughs> <laughs> so Megan's are easy. People, a lot of people um, say that your ankles get cold because of the zipper, but Megan hasn't had that problem at all. So I would recommend getting a zipper, um, but if yeah. you're really paranoid about being cold, they both work great. Mm -hmm. And they got rubber stuff so you can use them oh, as yes. shoes. A lot of times you're walking to dives um, or like rocks and like, yeah. And so it's yeah. good to have grip. Some of them don't, so make sure you get the ones with grip. Mm -hmm. Those are uh, booties. Yep, booties. Woo. Fins. <laughs> so if you've watched videos before, you know I have yellow fins. And I have the blue ones with the white. They're the Aqualung phasers. What they talked to us about when we were buying fins um, is the rigidity, rigidity. So this has like a rubber in the middle, so it scoops the water really nice. So there's a lot of bend. A so lot of bend, yeah. That's what the, what these are for. Right. It's like, used, I don't mm -hmm. know, but when you kick, it's like, it has a lot of bend and it's really good fin. And the way you put these on, they take a little bit of wrestling sometimes. Yeah. So I'm going to put her booty in. So you stretch it and you put it on your ankle like that. It's easier when it's on your foot. It is easier when it's on your foot. But it goes around the ankle. Around the ankle or like the, that. your heel. Yep, right there. Hopefully your foot isn't as contorted as this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't bend like that. Bends. Bends. <laughs> It's my mom's old knife, so I don't really know. It's Winoka on the side of it. Winoka. It's a really good knife. My mom said she never used it, but she probably wore it a lot in the water. It's still wet from our, our last adventure. But it's, it's a big boy. It's big and it's nice. It's not rusted. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And I've got to use it like once or twice, just cutting like fishing line and all that stuff. And the, the case for it's really nice. I would suggest taking one just in case, you know, you get caught in fishing. Because first time in Catalina, I was coming up from like, do you remember this? I think mm -hmm. you you're watching and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, like, oh. I didn't have my knife. It was the first time I went in and I was coming up and some seaweed got wrapped around my, my fin and I was, we were free diving. So I didn't have a scuba tank. So I was like, oh. so I had to like go down and untangle. I was yeah. fine, obviously. But, um, and then the first time we went diving, Megan got caught in some fishing line and we didn't have a knife either. So now we always bring a knife. Yes. Very highly recommended. And then when we went snorkeling just last week, I got caught on some fishing wire again. <laughs> I know. It's just, I, I have that luck. <laughs> yeah, if you're fishing, be careful because you might catch a human. So Megan gave me a knife for my birthday and I unwrapped it in the school parking lot and she was very concerned that our uh, that our, our principal, our principal was going to come by and like see that I had a knife in my hand. But anyways, this is a knife. It's also Aqualung. We're not sponsored, we promise. It's just... But please sponsor it. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> We'd appreciate great. it. <laughs> It has like a squeezy part right here. You squeeze and you pull the knife out. It's less heavy duty than Megan's. It's more for like, like this can get you out of like fishing line, that little hook area. Yeah. And then it has, it attaches to yourself right here. Nice. nice. <laughs> white belts. <laughs> These are white belts. Um, as you saw, we have very different ones. 
Um, she has pockets and I have just a classic um, <laughs> band. It's got a metal clip, which very, very, very highly It's suggest. very important to have a metal clip or something that has like grippies like the end of this mm -hmm. because I lost my other weight belt to the ocean. It was and just it had like a plastic one. Plastic yeah, one. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I have quite a bit amount. I have, I think, two threes and a five. This is the one we found in Catalina, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <mwah. laughs> um, But one thing you can do, you can get these, this little like clasp right here. You can't really see it, but it's supposed to keep them in, in place, the weight belts. So if you don't want to spend money on that, you just fold the, the band. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so this is what the weight looks like. This is a little two. Um, so it goes through here and out here. And this is my dad's old weight. It's, yeah. It's cool. Thank you. <laughs> As you heard, I lost my weight belt um, in Shell Beach. I, it was really nice. My uh, mom's boyfriend got me a new one for a graduation present. And that's this one. It has pockets like this. So you can put um, either the solid weight that Megan has, um, which I have that kind. And I also have this loose lead kind. So it's little beads inside of a bean bag. And it looks like it's supposed to be light. But it is really heavy. Like Megan here, it's like it's really heavy. It's I know it's kind of scary. It all depends on how much you weigh and then how comfortable you are. So sometimes people are weighted more, uh, and some people are weighted less. It's called being negative, positive, and neutral. Mm -hmm. So if you're negative, that means you have more weight. So you're gonna have to put more air in your BC. If you're positive, you're gonna have to let more air out of your BC. And if you're neutral. You're that's chilling. where you want to be. That's where you want to be. Yeah. Be. If you have an aluminum cylinder that's lighter, so you have to wear more weight. But if you have a steel cylinder, um, you can wear less weight because the t the cylinder is heavier. Yep. <laughs> Wait. <laughs>
Um, not the not snorkel. <laughs> the mask, I love the mask. It's my favorite thing ever. And um, the snorkel, one of the best things mm -hmm. ever. Unfortunately, she lost hers. <laughs> yes, uh, you, you're gonna hear a main theme around here. Like the ocean <laughs> likes to take things from me. And one of those yes. things was my snorkel when we were surfing and I was videotaping Megan. So she was very nice enough to allow me, give me this one. And then I have this deep sea mask. Um, mine's clear because I get a little claustrophobic with the black skirts. That's what they call this part right here, a skirt. And it feels like I'm closed in. So I like having the clear so I can see. A lot of people have the black one because it gets less reflection from the sun within the goggles. Mm -hmm. um, so if you go deeper, it's better to have a black mask. And also what my mother told me, because she also scooby dead. Mm -hmm. um, I suggest getting no like like hold yours up. You see how it kind of has a bridge right here. A bridge. I suggest getting no because she said when you're looking through and you're like you look this way, that's gonna be in your way. Mm -hmm. So I suggest getting no. But I mean, if you do like the bridge, okay. then go ahead and like get the bridge. Uh, some people like to spit in their mask to defog it because it does get foggy um, with condensation based on how cold or warm the water is. Um, highly recommend mask defog this. 500 psi one literally no problems whatsoever never had a foggy mask with this stuff and like the guy at the the dye shop he was like oh yeah this is just the commercial stuff it doesn't work that well and we're it like, works so great <laughs> i'm just like so every single time we use this i don't have to worry about ever like getting my mask foggy so that's what it looks like it's like, it's like a clear gel. blue stuff and what you do is you put a little bit of that in your mask and then you rub it around with your finger and you put some water in it and you rub it until it's clear so you don't rub all the stuff off. Yeah. And then you rinse it out and then you put it in the cold water or whatever water you're getting into. Um, and then you put it on your face and you go have an ocean adventure. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mask. Mask. <laughs> Booey. <laughs> As you might recognize, we have a little our little dive flag right here. He's been in all of our videos. Okay. Megan got me this stuff for graduation because she's just the greatest. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, and so this is a dive buoy. Um, you can blow it up. If you're ever diving outside a boat or just by yourself, don't buy, dive by yourself. Dive, you can dive buddy. Dive buddy. But if you're diving alone with a dive buddy, um, you have to have a dive buoy so that you don't get run over with a, by a boat or a kayak. It says divers below so that people know. <laughs> and this blows up and then the flag back there hooks into the top right there in that little thing. Little. The line thing. right here. You hook it to your BC. Yep, and you can hook it to your BC or you can hook it to a weight and leave it somewhere where you are. Always, this is an essential part of diver safety. Um, very important. Goody bag! Goody bag. <laughs> this was also my parents. Um, I got a lot of stuff handed down, as you can tell. Um, this thing is just like, say you find a bunch of trash or you find some really cool shells or rocks or ocean treasures and you just want to take them with it. That's basically what this is. It can go in the water with you and some of that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. all the water as you're walking. Bag. <laughs> Organization. Woo! We love it. Yeah. So this isn't the most fun thing to buy, but it has saved my butt and it is so nice. It's a drying thing. So what you do is you hang, it has a different spots for different things um, of your personal gear and stuff. So you put your fins here and you put your booties here, then your gloves here, and then your mask and snorkel here. And then I like to hang my weight belt on the other side and it hangs up like this. But yeah, highly recommend one of these. Definitely. Make sure you always clean your stuff after. Trip. I know. It helps it last Anytime. longer. If you're spending a yes. lot of money on something, you need to take care of it. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Thank you for watching <laughs> us uh, talk about our dive haul. This was all our personal gear. So this isn't like, we, we definitely recommend everything that we showed you, but mm -hmm. this isn't like the only thing out there. So yeah, definitely go try out what you're comfortable with. and Yeah, like every diver is different. Mm -hmm. um, like the different masks Megan and I have. It just depends on what your comfort level is. It's all about being comfortable in the water, um, which is why it's important to buy quality gear. The other thing is uh, Megan and I, this is just all our, like Megan said, it's our personal gear. What we do is we just rent the cylinders, the BC, um, extra Regular. weights if we need it. So we just rented all the rest of our gear for like, it was like 70 bucks for the whole day. Um, and we with like three, three refills. Dives. We did three dives, yeah. yeah. And diving we also, Catalina. Diving Catalina, <laughs> I highly recommend them. Yes. We rented their wetsuits too, that's another thing. Um, mm. Cause those are some of the pricier stuff like that, like BCs, regulators. It's better to just rent when you're starting out. And yeah. especially cause it gives you a little bit more freedom and um, the ability to dive when maybe you don't want to break the bank. 
Yes. And I mean, little stuff like fins and like flashlights and booties and gloves and all that stuff, like definitely go that little bit extra mm -hmm. on the price, even though it might hurt a little bit because they will last forever. They do last a long time. And they're such nice quality. They are nice quality. Like, you're definitely gonna thank yourself when you're in the water 60 feet underneath. Yeah, it's about yeah. being safe, about being comfortable, so mm -hmm. that you can have the best experience possible. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Stay stoked and stay salty. Woo!